Hi folks. I think I'm live. Let me see if I can open this up and see you all better. There we go. So hopefully I'll be able to see. Yeah, I'll be able to see comments and things now too. So give me a shout, give me a wave, give me a hello in the comments section. If you can see me, it's Wendy here from Dogs of Pride. Hello. It's Wednesday night and we're doing our little blurb. I see someone has come on there and uh, hopefully they are going to give me a little comment so I can see that you can hear me okay and everything is good. Still just getting used to all of these different ways of doing this as opposed to using my phone. Although I don't think my picture is as good through this as it was through the phone. But there you go. Um, yeah, um, say hi. Hi, anybody who's who's watching? I don't know whether I can even see that. Um, anyhow, uh, let's get right into it, I guess. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. I am uh, going to go into the new Finessian products tonight. And it's actually really quite exciting um, because we've um, had some of our Finessian products around for quite a few years. And some for, well, the Smart Oil and the Cream and Balm have been around now for two years. Uh, it's hard to imagine that it's actually two years has gone by, but here we are again in December. Hi, Krista. Hi, thanks for saying hi. Uh, I hope you're well down there. Um, so the new Finessian ones are basically our sensitive line. Um, as most of you will know or have noticed if you've been on the website that we've had to um, basically cease our ordering of show season for the time being anyway. Um, basically just because of the whole COVID thing. But the two most popular items that I am always hunted out for and searched for and asked about are uh, a tearless or a um, scent-free hypoallergenic and also a soothing or the soothe. We used to be the only one in Canada selling the soothe from show season. So that was the medicated one. Um, so basically I was sitting here twiddling my fingers and, and going or twiddling my thumbs. I'm going, well, maybe we should give it a go. A few people have mentioned it over the years. You should do your own line. You should do. That's like, why would I reinvent the wheel? There's so many out there. So many people are doing all this. Uh, there's so many options. There's, yeah, lots of stuff. And then it was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. So I went uh, hunting around for good ingredients and sort of putting things together and playing in the lab and came up with a sensitive line and I wanted it to be called sensitive because it's got no scent. Um, one of the biggest things a lot of people cannot abide right now are scents. Um, and yes, if you actually look at the, the chemical formulation in a scent, just in a scented add on for your soaps or your lip balms or well, that would be more flavor, I suppose, but um, your scents and your other shampoos and your body butters and things like that and you, you just look at the actual ingredients and it's just it's frightening the the amount of actual chemicals in there so no wonder people are scent sensitive um, so I thought I'd just do the plain words as you know I do so we have sensitive sensitive there you go this is our sensitive shampoo um, not only does it not have any scent, it doesn't have any dye. There's just an opaque bottle. So as you can see, it's almost clear. Um, you will notice a few different variations in the color just because they are all made in small batches. And we do get a slight variation just the way that the actual um, ingredients are mixed, I've discovered. So um, that's completely normal. Everything else is still fine at the end. They all test as they should. Um, so we basically the biggest deal with this is that this contains our colloidal silver so not only is it going to be scent free it's also going to be soothing we can't say medicated it's not a drug it's not a medicine um that's a word that they can use on products in the us we can't use that up here um but we do have the colloidal silver in that and most of you know the benefits of the colloidal silver now it's been around we've been doing that for quite a while um, and it's also got aloe vera juice in it too. So it's also nice and nourishing for the skin and um, basically to stop it over drying. Now, one thing I did actually do as well whenever I was testing this was because I'm on a well, so I have fairly hard water. So with one of the mixtures, 
Um, I found out that I liked it. it. The cleanability was good, but I felt that it was slightly drying afterwards. And of course, it's all on me first. Um, so played with a few different mixtures of ingredients and uh, I had um, Kim test them for me and I asked her what she thought of C. Now there was A, B and C. Now, of course you start, you've got 26 tries at it. We made it in three, which was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, um, I asked her what she thought of C and she had previously had A and B and there was just something I just wasn't happy with. So I sent her another sample and um, I said, so what do you think? And she goes, well, I didn't really notice much difference between that and A. And I'm like, perfect. That was actually the answer I was hoping for because she was using city water as opposed to well water. So the city water isn't going to be as hard. You're still going to get that foam that you like, the lather coming up that you like. Um, but she was still getting the cleanability, the softness, all the rest of the results that she was seeing from the first sample she tested. That's exactly what I wanted because the difference was the aloe vera. And with adding that aloe vera, it just made it work that, so that you can use it <laughs> thank you Kim she just said and it's awesome uh, thank you and um, with the aloe in it then it, it's it still maintained its nice cleanability the lathering and everything else but I just find that it wasn't just quite as drying on me on the well water as it was uh, as, as the a sample test was so it was pretty good to hear that she wasn't finding any difference between a and c which is perfect and that tells me that it works just as well on uh, well water or city water, which I don't know any other shampoos that have tested that. Do you? Let me know, because I, I would actually be interested in knowing if anyone has actually tested that. And with being in Canada and with being mostly rural, uh, a lot of our groomers are rural, a lot of our clients are rural. So if they can't use it on well water and get a decent clean, uh, without over drying the skin or then causing the dog to be running around scratching in two days time because the, the, the thing has just done too much of a clean, if you know what I mean. So it's drawn out all the oils and everything else without adding something back in to balance that, then it's not going to be worth putting out there. So you know me, I like to test stuff. So we're getting a five star with this and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of saying that. So the five star, play on words, the S for star, we've got the results are soft, silky, supple, shiny, and smooth. And I think uh, you can uh, probably agree with that. So <laughs> with sending this out to get some samples done, or not some samples done, but some people to sample it, we've gotten quite great responses back. So one of the big things with this, there's no smell to it, scentless. It doesn't smell like paint either. I've found that some of those scent-free ones actually smell like paint um this doesn't so i liked it from that with the colloidal in it it's still going to help with itchy skin with skin issues with rashes bug bites um anything at all really and um the the people that had their doggies groomed with this were very very pleased with the results shall we say that so much so that they actually asked their groomers, Kim being one of them, and I have another lady out this way as well, and they actually asked if they could get some themselves. So with that being said, we're also welcoming Spa at Home up in Orleans, Ontario, as one of our newest retailers, or as our newest retailer. So Kim has actually just received her product today, so her clients will be able to get her, and I will be putting her on the website. I promise I meant to do it before today, sorry. But she's going to go on there. So that's the thing. Whenever you have no smell, you're handing from for the groomer standpoint. And yes, for the groomers, yes, we have the big honking gallon for you. It's here. Um, and it's actually um, basically just always priced on the website at groomer pricing. If you did the math on what a $28 bo dollar bottle, 16 ounce bottle does, and multiply that by, what is it, eight? And then, um, yes. Um, there's eight of these in this. This is not eight times the price. So we always put that on at the groomer pricing because it's only groomers and handlers, um, doggy daycare, wash, bath wash thingies, um, vets 
whoever that actually use things in a gallon. So it's always priced for you guys to order direct on the website. And then if you spend over $80, you get your free shipping. And that's in Canada. We are looking for distributors of this all over the world. We do have a couple in the UK. We have one in Ireland, one in England. And uh, we're trying to get it out there to Australia as well with the rest of our line. Um, but um, some of the other things, it is deep cleaning. It is nice and deep cleaning. It doesn't over dry the coat. It doesn't take out all the natural oils. And with the aloe vera in there, and also you've got pro vitamin B5 or DL panthenol. And there's also hydrolyzed soy protein in there as well, which also helps to, um, it's well, it's the protein that bonds the hair. So it helps to strengthen the hair too. So you've actually got a sort of an all in one. Um, it's gentle enough to be used all the time. You can use it on your hands all the time. Trust me, whenever I'm bottling this stuff, a lot of it goes on my hands. I'm constantly washing my hands with it. We all know what it's like to be washing our hands constantly these days. And it's not over drying. I don't have cracked, bleeding knuckles by the end of the day, which is a pretty good deal. Um, so that's it there. All of our ingredients are on there as well for you. For bathing systems, it can be diluted to 22 to 1. So it is concentrated. It is a professional quality shampoo. It's not all diluted down. So this will go a long way. I mean, basically for my hair, maybe a cap full straight on to wet hair. That's all it needs. And I was at the squeaky clean after one wash. So obviously you can use it again if you need a secondary wash in some of the, the worst areas um, or on the dirtier dogs. Or obviously you'll need more than a cap full if you've got a big dog. But there you go. Uh, what else? So, yeah, oh, yes, that was what I was saying, but they're impressing the clients. They, they don't have a scent to one of the, 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 the main things is that the dogs always come out smelling clean or fresher with some sort of scent on them. So an owner will always notice that. And obviously the groom, if it looks pretty, it's, oh, you so cute. Oh, you smell so good. So, I mean, yeah, you can follow this up with a cologne at the end of your groom. Absolutely no reason why not. Obviously pet friendly one or one formulated to be used on pets. Um, not nasty, um, heavy, heavy alcoholic bases that dry the coat and hair, which basically kind of writes all the work you did. But for the fact for clients to notice that this was so awesome on their dogs after they'd gotten groomed, that means that they didn't smell a wet dog. They didn't smell a dirty dog. So we know the cleanability is there. Uh, so as well, they felt the softness, they felt the volume, they just felt really nice, clean, looked good, and smelt clean without having any scent on them. So for clients to notice that as groomers, that's a big deal. Um, and uh, basically, that's once you take the nose out of it, the other um, scents are heightened. So it's your touch, your sight, your smell. That there's no scents that are going to irritate you, and no you know remaining odor of a, a stinky dog unless of course it was skunk two weeks ago and meh. actually yeah we'd like to try this on a skunk dog and see what it does um so there we go uh what you may notice with this because there's no L F the sls in it and that's sodium lauryl sulfate which is a very common um surfactant um or that's like your detergent a surface acting agent is your surfactant that's what does the cleaning as there is none of the SLS in it, you may find that the foam is not as thick and lathery as you would find with a regular shampoo or one with SLS or SLES in it. But you still do find a nice, soft lather with it. Um, I quite like it. I find that it's actually quite rich, even with the, the, uh, the, the two um, surfactants that we have in it. And those are, uh, we have a non-ionic co-surfactant of the decoglucoside. And we have the cocomidopropyl betaine. And thank you to Barbara Bird, to you, my love. It was you that taught me how to say that about whew, 14 years ago, 2006. She's like, well, if I'm going to learn about ingredients, I need to learn how to say them. So she taught us how to sing them in a seminar. I'm not going to do that now. Your ears would bleed. So uh, I think I've covered all of the goodies that are in this. Um, non-drying we've got the colloidal silver we've got the aloe i actually did show notes today <laughs> yeah i actually did show notes um and oh yeah something else i should mention as well whenever we're searching for ingredients it's not just that they're sls free and okay let's go into the sls briefly sls got a really really bad rap through the internet and through general chit chat or whatever that it caused cancer and this was way back in the 80s it was actually a 
um, a myth that's been long busted. I mean, go on to CIR, the, the Cosmetics Ingredients Review, or EWG.org, the Environmental Working Group, and they actually give you a list of ingredients and tell you what they are, what they're used for, the chemical composition of them, what they look like, their molecular structure, and also go into telling you whether they're, they're dangerous or not. And SLS has never actually been proven to cause cancer. So that was a complete um, myth. And it was actually, it was more of a, a slander against some other companies who were using it by a company who had stopped using it. Um, and it was basically a whole fear mongering thing. It didn't really work. I mean, you see half of the products you pick up now, you look on the back of your shower gel, for example, just for yourself, and you'll find that there's probably SLS or SLES in it sodium laurel sulfate or sodium laureth sulfate, which is the SLES, which is gentler. Anywho, whenever we're searching them out, we also find out how the ingredients are made. So not just how the shampoo's made, I know how that's made, but what's important to me, and because your pet can't tell you, that's my job to make sure it's safe before you put it on your pet, is that the ingredients, however they're processed and how they're made by our supplier, that we see all of the breakdown from them. A lot of our ingredients are certified organic. We will pay the extra to get that certification so that we can get all of that uh, paperwork with them to show that they're free from heavy metals, they're free from GMOs, um, they're free from toxic extraction. Um, and actually the, the bit that was connected to the SLS is also connected to a couple of even our ingredients as well. And it's actually whenever they're processed, too hot or too fast or just not appropriately, there is a byproduct created called 1,4-dioxane and that is known to be a cancer causing agent. It is not in any of our ingredients. We have searched for all of that. So that just kind of tells you how completely and utterly nuts I am and how deep I delve into things for the safety of our pets out there. Um, I do it for them so you don't have to, so you can shop with complete confidence and we hope you do. You can order your shampoo on dogsofpride.com as always. Uh, we also have um, a little baby as well, which is the, the, the sample size one. Um, it's a little two ounce one, a little tester one. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put that on the website yet or not, or just keep that for packs and for our retailers whenever they're testing out our lines. And yet we are looking for retailers, as I say, as well as distributors all over the place. Doesn't matter where you are. We do not have any restricted ingredients in our products, so they can ship anywhere in the world. Um, a very important. Why would we have restricted ingredients in something if we're putting it on our pets? That would be silly. Um, also, as well, you know how we just stick by the book. Well, it seems to be easier that way and that you're not looking over your shoulder all the time. Now, there is another product in the line, and it's an ear cleaner. whoop de doo right? Big deal. But Lizzie's had problems with her ears for almost a year. And so I had gone through everything. We had done two trips to the vets with two different follow-ups, with two different, um, actually ended up with three different protocols to try from there, none of which worked. Um, one of which, of course, worked while she was on it, and as soon as she was off it, everything came back full flow. So, and we didn't like what it was either. Um, it was a drug. It's a nasty drug. You don't want to keep anything on it for any length of time, so it was not going to be an option to just keep her on it indefinitely. I would not do that to her. So it was like, all right, let's try some other things. A few other suggestions from a few health food stores and things like that as well. Sorry, didn't work. So I went back to whenever I was ooh, 12, 13, and I was a crazy teenager, but I was covered. I mean, covered in spots, zits. And I used to pull the heads off plants and look at all these natural remedy books and herbal books and everything else. I, I wish I had continued that. I probably would have been a master herbalist by now and have drumming up these products like no nobody's business but one thing in particular always worked for me to dry out a zit and that was witch hazel um and with lizzie's ears is very wet inside down in the ear canal she shakes her head and you can hear it's it's gross so after about a week on that they are pretty much 
and I will touch wood. Um, thankfully, not waking Dimitri because he usually runs around barking then. Um, but mixed up a solution with alcohol free witch hazel distillate and colloidal silver and got the balance right. And that took a while as well because you can't do it too harsh um, or it's going to be over drying and cause more irritation. And you can't do it too weak. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. And all you're going to end up with is the colloidal silver in there, which, yes, helps with the bacteria. But if there's too much moisture in there that's not going to dry out, see, there is a science to it. And I would show you the lovely little picture or the lovely little bottle. You can imagine it here. Um, but I sold the last one and it went out the door this afternoon. So I'm just waiting on more supplies to come in to make some more up. So that is on the website though as well, is showing out of stock at the minute, but that should hopefully change before the end of this week. So there's the ear cleaner and the shampoo for you. Um, there will hopefully be in the new year a leave-in conditioner. I tried to actually, I have formulated it, I have liked what I've done with it, but went to order more um, bulk of the raw materials and one of them is out of stock. So everything is on hold for that, but it's a leave-in conditioner. I'll tell you why. I'll go over this now. With the shampoo, it's always been taught to me is you need a conditioner to help to re-nourish the skin and to seal the hair shafts so that that stops because a, um, a wet hair, the cuticle is usually open on the hair. Now, if those aren't closed to be nice and, and smooth like this, then it ends up, you can get matting a lot quicker. You also get breakage then of the hair and things like that. Now, anyone, if you're if you're um, showing a dog or even if you have a, a dog that you like keeping a longer coat on, it's important that you don't have breakage and matting and everything else to maintain that. So whenever I was testing them all, I had Lizzie, my standard poodle, in the tub, bathed up a, a breeze, and I used the conditioner just on a strip on her back. Now, with the extra work that was involved in rinsing that or applying it, rinsing it, and then drying it, it actually didn't make sense to do it that way as opposed to with the leave-in. And with the leave-in, which was just then put on a damp coat, I still got the slip. I still got everything else nicely sealed. There was hardly any, there was no matting actually. Um, it helps actually, the, the shampoo as well actually helps. It's got enough slip in that to release any, any little tangles and things. So you'll find it brushes through really nicely. And also I have found that it actually cuts drying time. And that's a big deal if you're a groomer because time is of the essence. You want to get your job done. You want to get it done as, as well as possible in as short a time as possible, both for you and the dog. Plus then you can get another dog in because time is money. And if you're a groomer, you need to make money to pay the bills like the rest of us. We don't have, you know, live on fresh air. Uh, if, if we could, that would be wonderful. Um, so with the, the shampoo, we have found it has cut the drying time. Plus then, without having to use the conditioner straight after, you can actually just use a leave-in conditioner with it and still cut out then a little bit. Plus you're saving water, which is always good, and uh, saving time and um, toil on your body as well as on the dog. So the groom will go faster, things will go wonderful, and you will have a wonderfully clean, lovely, squishy dog at the end that you will not mind sleeping in bed with you because they smell just fine. Um, that's probably it. You know me, I could prattle on forever, but I'm not going to bother. 20 minutes. Long enough. Long enough. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching after the fact on our YouTube channel at Dogs of Pride, um, please like below, subscribe, hit the subscribe button wherever it is, wherever you'll see it on your screen so that you get notifications of every time we are live again and uh, when we put up a new video on to our Facebook channel. So hopefully I will see you next Wednesday. If you have anything you'd like me to talk about, please drop me a message. Please drop me an email, info at dogsofpride.com or just come on here um, onto our messages through the Dogs of Pride Facebook channel as well and uh, leave us a message. I want to know about such and such. Um, I'd be happy to do that. Happy to chat. You know what it's like. Anyway, be safe, people. It's December. 
Merry Christmas rush. On that point, actually, I should mention shipping companies are going mental. Mental. They were already behind because when the COVID shutdowns and everything happened, everybody was ordering everything online. And a lot of the shipping companies have not actually got back to rights from that. And they haven't even hit the real rush yet. It's going to happen in, in another week. So if you are looking for something, make sure you order it sooner rather than later because we will not be able to guarantee that you can get it in time for Christmas. Um, have a look around our site as well. We've got lots of gift ideas. Remember our Fitzy's chocolates, which are vegan, which are fine for you. We donate all the money we raise from our Fitzy's chocolate sales to our uh, favorite rescue ranch out in Bedeck at Rocking Horse. So you're helping the animals and you're helping your sweet tooth and you're uh, looking after the fact that they are dairy free and good for those with all sorts of issues as well. Um, anywho, okay, I said five minutes ago I was stopping. All right, I'm stopping. All right. That's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in again. Love you all. Take care and bye for now.